Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem course schedule taken from CSES graph algorithms uh, category. So let's see what the problem says. The problem statement is you are given n courses, right, that you have to complete and you have to just decide the order in which you should complete the courses. But some of the courses have, have prerequisite, basically requirement, and those are given in terms of m requirements. So uh, there will be m input of the form a b where you have to complete course a before completing course b okay so these are constraints so considering these constraints you have to print an order in which you would like to complete the course okay so if i explain the same with an example before that if if there are, if there exists a solution print you can print any of them because there can be multiple solution okay and if no solution exists you can print impossible so let me explain this. Uh, let me explain this with an example. Here you see n is equal to five. So there are five courses and there are three constraints, right? So basically three prerequisites. One should be completed before two. So here you see uh, there is an uh, directed edge from one to two that indicates one should be completed before two. Okay. Similarly, three should be completed before one. So there is an edge from three to one. And finally, four should be completed before five. So there is an edge from four to five. If you see here, I have rep uh, represented two different uh, valid answers. Okay. There can be multiple answers. So you can pick any of them and print any of them. So here you see when you print an answer, you see that uh, you should not uh, print any course before uh, such that it's prerequisite comes after that okay so basically if you see four will always appear before five right because four is a prerequisite for five so four will always appear before five same goes for three three is prerequisite for one so three will always appear before one sorry three is prerequisite for one so three will always appear before one so you have to print an answer in such a way that uh, a prerequisite should appear before the other courses right so basically three is prerequisite for one so three should appear before one so on and so forth now prerequisites i mean for for this lecture of course basis of graph algorithm uh, and uh, knowledge of topological sort because that is what we are going to uh, find uh, apply to solve this problem and specifically i'll be using Kant's algorithm and lecture on all of these you can find in graph algorithm series now before we discuss solution Looking for jobs is a tough task and looking for a job with right work-life balance, desired salary and with a promise of optimal career growth is almost impossible. What if I told you that you can skip through these barriers? Yes, your search for finding the right job ends with re-level. Get access to top product-based companies in India like Paytm, Upgrad, Cred, Zoomka and many more. All this just a test away. No resumes, no degree criteria, no experience. All that matters is your skills and knowledge. Re-level tests are free of cost, with no hidden charges, no monetary terms and conditions. Once you qualify for the re-level test, you have access to 1000 plus jobs across top companies. They guarantee packages of more than 4 LPA for non-tech roles and 6 LPA for tech roles. Currently, they are conducting tests for web development, business development and analytics related roles. You can check out their app on Play Store for Android and on App Store for iOS users. Click on the link available in the description to directly check out the ReLevel app. All you need is to download the app and log into ReLevel with a few simple steps by entering your contact details. Everything you need to know about the tests are available on the ReLevel app. Right on the first app window, you will find the test instruction. You can even download the sample papers to check out the type of questions you will get for the test. Now let me tell you how you can register for the ReLevel test. So click in the link provided in the description of the video and click get hired. Select the type of job you want to do, for example, backend development, click select and then book your free slot. Select the tech stack. Suppose I want to work with Python, continue and then select the date. So I'm going with 30 October and next. After that, OK. Uh, of course, if you are filling this for the first time, you have to fill in some uh, details, extra details. OK, so fill that and then uh, enter all of the important details and then save. And here you go. Your slot is booked. Go ahead and book your slots today. Now let's head back to our lecture.
So now let's see how we will solve this problem. To solve this problem, of course, you need to find topological ordering of the graph. Uh, topological ordering, if you don't know, uh, tells you the order in which you should complete the work if you are given already provided the prerequisite graph. Okay, basically the DAG or uh, directed acyclic graph and topological sorting exists if and only if the given graph is DAG. If cycles exist, topological sorting does not exist. Okay, so basically find the topological ordering of the graph and keep count of the number of nodes in your found ordering. This will help you tell whether the given graph contains any cycle or not, right? So if the count in your uh, topological ordering that you have found is equals to n that means you are able to complete all of the courses then you can print that topological ordering if not then you can print impossible right so don't worry i'll be taking both of the cases and i'll show you how this count will help you find out the solution okay so first of all of course i'm going to use Kahn's algorithm so what you do uh, you have a queue yeah you have a queue and inside the queue you initialize uh, you insert all of the node which are having zero in degree zero in degree means there are no edge towards them okay so you see node 3 and node 4 don't have any edge towards them and that's why 3 and 4 are there in the queue right and this is your topological ordering at this point we have found nothing right so now if while loop starts and it's like bfs okay while your queue is not empty just take out the first node which is three so insert this in your topological ordering now remove all of the edges uh, sorry now remove all of the edges from node 3 you see you will remove this right and after removing if there is some other node which is having zero in degree we will insert that node into the queue also so i'm going to remove this edge so after removing this edge you can see clearly node one is not having i mean having in degree zero that means i can insert three one here so i did that right and that was the only uh, edge removed by three so uh, we are done with three right and next time again we'll check whether the queue is empty or not of course it is not we have four so insert four basically take out four from the queue insert it into your topological ordering basically you are keeping a list of nodes okay now again you will do the exact same thing uh, remove all of the edges of node four so there exists only one so you remove that but you see that node five is now having in degree zero so you will insert five in the queue also we are done uh, we have done that also now again we'll check whether the queue is empty or not which is not so take out one insert into topological ordering one is having uh, an edge so remove that edge after removing that edge you see that two is having in degree zero so insert two uh, sorry my bad i forgot to insert two here okay so basically you will insert two here also and the process will keep on repeating okay so i made that mistake and that's why two is not here finally you will also have two here okay my bad so this is basically Khan's algorithm. I have explained this in my graph algorithm series. I'll be putting the link of the course into the, uh, into the description. So if you don't know about topological ordering and Khan's algorithm, so you can go through those lectures. Okay, so basically this is how you will uh, solve the problem. After that, you will see that the size of the topological ordering list that you have produced is actually equal to N. All of the nodes will be there. Okay, you see that two is not here because I made a mistake. Okay, so two should have been here. So uh, size of the topological ordering list that you have prepared will be equal to n that means you are able to complete all of the courses and hence this is a valid topological ordering that means you can print it okay uh, this should have been two again now let's have a look at uh, invalid test case okay so here you see suppose if the input contains prerequisite in such a way that it forms a cyclic graph direct cyclic graph so what will happen see uh, first of all you will initialize your queue with all of the nodes having zero in degree in a in a cycle every single node is having in degree more than uh, equal, greater than or equal to one at least they have in degree one okay now here you see uh, you won't be having anything in your queue so since previous i mean uh, initialization is done now you will come to while queue is not empty but queue is already empty so nothing will happen and your topological ordering list will contain zero right it contains nothing size of it is zero which is not equal to n and hence these courses cannot be completed because they have circular dependency okay so if uh size of the topological ordering that you have created using Kahn's algorithm is not equal to n in this case you can directly see this right so in that case you can simply print impossible that that basically means that you have a, a circular dependency and hence uh those courses cannot be completed okay so yeah this is how you'll be solving this problem so i uh, uh, let me just show you the code also so let's have a look at the code so here you see 
I'm using uh, of course integer array for in degree and this is for graph so I'm reading n and m m represents your number of edges basically right so I'm reading the directed edges and in the adjacency list of a I'm inserting b because this is directed right and also in degree of b will increment by one right after that I'm simply printing the order using cons algorithm so now initialize the queue and of course your uh, list which will store which is basically your topological ordering list right this result so first of all pre-processing part where we are going through all of the nodes and if in degree of any of the node is equals to zero we are inserting that node into the queue right pre-processing done while queue is not equal to zero do the exact same thing that you do in bfs take out the front node from the queue remove it and then uh, yeah we need to save it into the result also right this this defines your uh, topological ordering after that of course go through all of the nodes which are directly connected to the current node and decrement their uh, in degree right because basically you are removing that edge and if the in degree of current node v becomes zero after removal then insert this into the queue also finally if the result uh, dot size that means topological ordering list size is equals to n then only you will print the result otherwise you will print impossible so yeah this is how you solve this problem i'll be providing the link to this code in the description of the video so uh, you can use it as a reference so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you